hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl katrina louise and thank you so much for clicking on my video in today's video i'm bringing you guys along with me for my sunday reset slash self-care routine sundays are super important when it comes to setting the tone for your new week I like to start off with a fresh, clear space so that I don't bring any of last week's clutter into the new week. So I'm going to start with cleaning and organizing my bathroom. Y'all, why I have this bottle of olive oil in my bathroom, I literally can not tell you why that's in there. I have no idea. So as y'all can see, my bathroom definitely gets quite junky. So I just go through and clear everything off of my counters. And I like to go in with this Myers cleaner. I believe this is the lemon scented one, but I just love the way that it smells. It has my bathroom smelling like a fresh squeezed lemon. It just smells so, so good. And I'll use it all over my counters and then I'll go in and use it on my sinks as well. I do have glass sinks, so this does a great job at getting those nice and clean and clear. I think it's super important to start your week off with a clean, clear space. You don't want any of the mess, both literally and figuratively, of last week to follow you into your new week. And that's why my Sunday reset routines are super important to me. It just gives me that clear head space that I need. And I don't know about y'all, but it's just something about a clean space that makes me feel like I can take over the world. So by doing all of this, it just makes me feel like I'm that more likely to achieve any goals that I set for myself for the upcoming week. So yeah, this process really just helps me start my week with a fresh start, a clean start, a clean slate, and knowing that I can achieve any of the new goals that I set for myself for the upcoming week. And now getting into the self-care portion of the video, I'm just gonna start off by cleansing my face. And of course, I'm using my Holy Grail, my girl, my clean and clear morning burst. Um, like I told you guys in my shower routine video, I've been using this product since I was in high school and I absolutely love it. It's just such a simple product and it's never given me any issues for my skin. Whether it be summer or winter, I can use it for both seasons and it's just so gentle. It really keeps my skin feeling nice and fresh and rejuvenated. And since I'm putting an emphasis on self-care, I just take a little extra time when doing this cleansing process just to, you know, wash away, like I said, all those worries from the prior week. And just giving my skin a little bit of that extra TLC that it needs before moving on to my face mask. Okay, now that we have our skin feeling nice and fresh, we're going to go in with a mask. Now, I got these masks from Target. I got two of them, the Relaxing Lavender, but I'm definitely going to go in with the Hydrating Grapefruit today just because my skin has been feeling a little more on the drier side. And one thing about me, guys, I love a gel mask. Like, I just love the consistency of them and the way that it feels going onto your skin. It just feels so hydrating and so refreshing like i absolutely love gel masks so much and this one smells super good as well i know y'all are probably like girl you always saying something smells good but no if it stinks it stinks and i'll tell you but this right here it smells so good okay trust me when i'm telling y'all this and i'll just apply this all over my face making sure to work it in because i don't want any dry skin honey i want my skin feeling fresh and glowing you know looking cute giving the vibes giving the looks and as i'm working it all over my face i'll make sure to avoid my eye areas my eyes are just a super sensitive place i know some people can put masks on like their eyelid areas but for me i just my, my eyes will be one big water ball like I can't 
So I just go around and apply it on the perimeter of my face, making sure to get my forehead because I know that's a problem area for me when it comes to dryness. And I'll get my nose as well before I go in. You know, let it marinate on my face for about 15 minutes or so. And next I'll go in with a lip scrub. And I'm using this lemon lip scrub that my mom made me a while back. And it does a great job at exfoliating and leaving my lips nice and smooth. I know when it comes to lip care, a lot of us tend to avoid it. You know, us girls, we'll just throw on some lipstick, some lip gloss, and we'll be good to go. But you really do need to have you a routine for your lips when it comes to skincare. You know, whether it be applying a lip scrub. And then also, I do use these lip masks as well. Um, it comes in these little tin foils. And this is the Coconut Hydrating Lip Mask. And this is a gel consistency too. It just feels super rubbery. And of course, I got this from Target as well. And you just take them out and you put it directly on your lips. And I know that they have like the liquid consistency ones as well that you just put on but these I find are so much more easier I know that they look crazy but I rather deal with <laughs> looking crazy for a few versus having a more difficult cleanup process so I'll just apply this directly on um, and I'll leave this on with my face mask for about 15 to 20 minutes and just let it do what it do And now that me thinking I'm Beyonce in the mirror is over, and now that my um, face mask and lip mask have all had time to settle, I'm going to go ahead and wash everything off. And silly me, y'all, I forgot with gel consistency masks, they don't just wash off with water. I mean, you can go in and like rewash your face with soap and everything, but I don't like doing that. So I'll just go in with a towel and some warm water and wipe my face off. And that always does the trick. And now my face is feeling so fresh, so clean. I feel like a brand new bitch. And then I'll just go and moisturize my lips with some plain old chapstick. Nothing too serious, just some chapstick that I got from probably Walmart or somewhere like that. And then I'll go in with the Fenty Fat Water. This is what I use for my toner. So um, once I'm finished drying my face, I'll go in with this. And I absolutely love it. As you can see, I'm almost out. So I need to go and re-up. But I'll just go in and apply this all over my face before putting on my moisturizer. And I use my girl Fenty for moisturizer as well. The one that includes SPF for some extra protection. So I'll use that and I'll apply it over my face. And one thing about this product is that the SPF does have a super strong smell. So if you aren't a fan of sunscreen smelling things, then, then I wouldn't recommend it. But it doesn't really bother me. So besides that, um, it's, a, it's a 10 out of 10 for me, honestly. So I told myself that I was going to be super intentional about my goals this week. I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish and I really been, you know, pushing them off and not buckling down and doing what I need to do to get them accomplished. And so I really was reflecting and thinking to myself the other day, like, you know, September is almost here. We have what, four months left before the new year. And I was just thinking, like, what happened to all of these things that you said you were going to do at the beginning of the year? Like, look at you still haven't done any of them so i just made the decision to be super in intentional about the remainder of the year and about just my goals in general going forward and of course i know that you can't rush the process and some of my goals may take a little more time but i at least want to start setting the foundation to accomplish these things now so in the name of adopting more intentional habits, I just started planning out my week. And I find that doing it, doing it on a week by week basis instead of a monthly basis just helps me buckle down and focus on my short term goals, which for me is just what I need to have a better effect. 
So yeah, just doing it on a week by week basis will, I feel like, help me stay more consistent with my goal. But yeah, guys, 2022 is literally almost over. So if you have any goals that you want to achieve before the year is out, now is the time that we really start buckling down and doing everything that we said we were going to do. With consistency in prayer, oh, and that's a sidebar, I do want to get more consistent with my prayer life as well. I've really been, I feel like, lacking in that department, so I just want to be more consistent with my prayer life and reading my Bible more. But yeah, so with, you know, consistency in prayer, we'll definitely achieve everything that's meant for us and get everything that we have in our dream life that we envision for ourselves. And I'll just end my night out with some TV. And I've really been obsessed with this show called Siren. And um, <laughs> I've been on Mermaid TikTok lately. I know, I know, right, Mermaid? But yeah, I've been on Mermaid TikTok lately. And so everybody in the comments was recommending this show. And I'm so sad because it's only three seasons. And I done blew through all the episodes in less than a week. But... Yeah, so I've been obsessed with this show and I'll just pour me up a glass of wine. And that's all for today's video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Do you know <laughs> I'm why you're here right now?